what's up guys i know it's been a minute since i did a, a vlog but here i am i've been kind of busy so today i have a boot haul from amazon hold on so i did um get some boots that i probably i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep them but just to let y'all know i know y'all probably said girl it's summertime who the fuck buying boots actually this is the best time to buy winter things it's in the summertime i know this because i used to work retail okay so i got these and just like in my other video my other channel um with amazon you could try stuff before you buy it so all right so let's try out I've already tried this on, but I'm going to try it on for you guys. So, yeah, yeah. No, with these, like, my calves is, like, I don't know. Here, let me tilt y'all down. I should be filming with my camera, but my I'm using my phone. Okay, so that's what these look like. And these are actually kind of reasonable. They're like thirty some dollars. They are so cute. Look at the stones and stuff on there. Such detail. It looks like fire. Okay. So these are like, uh, I think like thirty, like thirty two, thirty five dollars, something like that. There's she. And you know, Prime is coming up. Prime Day is coming up. So there's a lot of stuff that's going to be on sale. Ugh. All right. So that's what these look like. So I'm looking over at my mirrors right there. So these are cute. These are really cute. These are really cute. But the thing is, I don't really like how snug they are around my calves. So, that's a little bit of a problem for me. But they are cute. They are really cute. Hmm. Huh. These would be really cute, like with a dress or some shorts or whatever. Okay. So that's those. And then I ordered some. And I actually ordered them twice. So I have two pairs. Okay, so. These are, no. It's these. So I got these. And I actually ordered two pairs by mistake now these are a little more on the expensive side i think they were in about they're over a hundred dollars for sure they're over a hundred dollars but they're so cute they have the leopard print and it's got like a little sort of a metallic color but like, so it has the low heel on it Okay, so, all right, hold on, I know, I know, my left from my right. <clears throat> all right, so that's what these look like. Those are actually really cute. But you know what? You know what I don't like about it? Is, it's, they have, they're not broken in. So they're kind of, a, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, that now I'm not sure if that's probably common amongst boots that has that until you course it softens up you break them in and it softens up and stuff but oh I, hmm, I don't like that but this is actually soft and then that's what it looks like in the front those are cute those are really cute I'm only gonna try it one but they're cute these I know I'm definitely not keeping but and it's really firm at the foot. All right, on to the next one. So 
So I got these. You can't see them. I'm running out of room for stuff. so cute so these are the ones I was kind of debating on keeping and these are a little more reasonable let me get in the frame here so y'all can see me all right okay 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 so <sighs> these are sort of made like the leopard ones but a little there's a little more flexibility in these there's a little more flexibility in these. Oh, I actually, I love these. I love these. Look. I think I might keep these. So it's made the same way in the front as the ones with the leopard print same sort of heel but it's it's softer here and there's a little more flexibility all right so um i got these boots because i'm doing a little mini little vacay tomorrow so i need to kind of pack some stuff too and I haven't done that yet. So these I might keep. No, these I know I'm going to keep. These I'm going to keep definitely. And tomorrow, I was going to think, I was thinking about wearing them tomorrow, but um, it might be too hot. It might be too hot. But I'm definitely going to keep these. Those are too tight on my calves. I don't like that. Um, The other ones. A little more expensive, a little more expensive, and too stiff. Too, 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 too stiff. Okay, so let me uh, put this up, and then we're going to go on to the next. Oh, right, for a hundred and something dollars, you would think that the, that boot, those boots would feel a little better than they do, but <laughs> whatever. So I'm just packing them back up. So, like, you get to try the stuff for, like, seven days without paying for it. And then after the seven days, if they're not, they don't, you don't return them, they'll, they'll charge you for whatever items that you got, that you haven't returned. So, I'm returning the ones that I'm not going to keep. And then, um, the ones I am going to keep, I'm a, they're going to charge me for it. So, I'm going to keep these. And then I'm going to pack these up. Or oh, I'm packing them up. And then I'm going to print the label. Okay. Where is it? Okay. I'm going to print the label. And then drop them off at wherever little designated drop off point that they have. And so it's just as easy as that. You just keep the bags and stuff or the boxes that they come in, reseal it, and then send it back. It's as simple as that. So now, um, okay, so I'm going to sit that right there. Oh, snap. I forgot I had this one too. Shit. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so now I gotta I gotta reopen that. But anyway. So anyway, so that's what the these what these look like. Let me take this stuff out of here. So tomorrow is the 4th, tomorrow is the 4th of July, we'll do a little overnight stay, 
somewhere. Oh my goodness, I'm falling in everything. Okay. <laughs> All right. This boot, these boots don't want to act right. It's okay. So this is what they look like. All right. So I also got some mannequin hangers. So let me see if I can find something to cut open the box. Oh my goodness. I don't have nothing to cut the box open. Okay, let's try my nail. I was going to go get my nails done today, but I was not feeling it. Uh, soon, it was going to be crowded as hell. And probably at every damn nail shop. And I just did not feel like it had crap today. So, I need to go get them done because I broke this one. I broke that one. And it literally just popped off. Okay. So... So I got these mannequin hangers from my Poshmark store. And they give you, I think, four. So, okay. Let's get that out of the way. I can't believe that I sealed that up and didn't put the other ones in there. Oh my God, I'm just a wreck. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to, I'm going to open it up and just retape it. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Oops. Oh, it's got screws and everything. Oh my goodness. Okay. What the heck? Look at this. Okay. So you just take this off. Put it in there, and that's how that goes. So let's see. So I guess we'll put that in here. Put that. Turn this side over here. I gotta get these nails cut down too, cause see, look, um, it's, they're too long. It's getting to the point where I can't pick up stuff and whatever. I don't like that, especially at the ATM. I definitely don't like that. I don't like people having to ask people. Hey, can you um come pull my card out? Cause then it looks like some kind of setup or whatever shit. So, um, was I supposed to put the whole thing through? I think so. Cause it's like an anchor on the other side. There we go. I think I was supposed to. Yeah, there we go. You gotta put the whole thing through the the anchor and everything. So that's what that one looks like. That one done. One done. Okay, so. What the heck? How is this on here? Let me see. I don't know what this. And my allergies is acting up too. Okay, yep. My allergies is acting up. My ears is all itchy and stuff. So, 
I got this to put my uh, put the clothes that I sell on Poshmark. So I'll put it on there, so that way is you can see it, it's displayed a little better versus this on a hanger on a plain hanger. So we're gonna see what that looks like after I um, get this done on here. What the heck? Why is it still spinning? Oh, whatever. Uh, that don't make sense that it's still spinning. Okay. Alright, that's number two then. Come on, anchor. There. Wow. Shit, I'm about to pop my damn nail off. Uh, see what I'm talking about? Those dying nails. Okay. So I know it's been a while since I did a vlog and stuff. I just had to uh, take care of some stuff. The things that from the last time that I was on, that I was complaining about. So that took me some time to get everything together. And so I was really um, just trying to focus on that and get it done. Plus, I didn't want people to know what I was doing before I actually did it. So, I mean, I didn't want to come on here and vlog about it and then um, people knowing my moves before I actually did it. And anyway, um, so that's why I just I was like, I'll get back on when once I everything kind of tapers down and stuff like that. There we go. Damn it, I did it again. Shoot. All right. Okay. So I'm going to definitely have them to shorten these nails when I go get my fill. Because this is getting annoying. And then plus, I need to start uh, going out there, working on my tiny home again and I can't do it with these wolverine claws so yeah all right there we go so now it's done so you could turn it you could turn it either way not sure what these are for um I don't know maybe it's for you to hang it on the back of something shit I don't know I have to pull out the instructions. All right. So. All right. Let me. Okay. Let me get this. Okay. So here's my rack right here. Here's my rack right here. And so let me just put y'all up. Oh, shoot. Let me pull y'all up. Oh. So y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's my rack. My clothes rack. And so I'm just going to put everything on here. I got to move some stuff around. All right. Okay, so like this, so like this outfit, let me bring y'all down, so dang. Okay, so like this outfit, uh, so we're going to put this, and I have more, so this one is actually my outfit, but I'm using it as a display, so we'll put it on the mannequin.
But I guess you can. This is what she can do, you know, because I'm, I'm making life difficult. Sitting here trying to dress it and hold the mannequin at the same time. That's stupid. Okay, so let me pull the string. Oh, my fucking allergies is acting up too. My throat is starting to feel a little scratchy and shit. Okay, so I just needed to move that out the way. Okay, so we're gonna put this, this top on. And then I need some more lighting in here because this don't make sense. Or I can. I was about to say, what the heck is that? The screws falling out? Oh, it's hot in here. I need to get a fan. Oh, okay. That actually looks good. Okay, so this is what it looked like. Oh, hold on, because that is not working. Okay, so I guess we put the hook on like that. So this is what it looks like. Y'all, excuse me, it's in here. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so um, yeah, I need to get my, uh, I need to get my tripod with my, um, the lighting. I'll be back. Pause. Can we just talk about how this portion of the video is no sound? Yeah, my mic decided like, no, I don't feel like working. So, yeah, um, the show's still going to go on. I'm just going to do this voiceover and walk y'all through what exactly I was doing here. So I finished putting together the mannequins which is nothing but just putting the hook on that's it and now i'm setting up the display items to retake pictures for um my poshmark store so i'm just trying to set y'all up so you can get a better view and this is one of the items that i already put on the mannequin and down there in the basket is pretty much my TikTok promo. That box is whatever. <laughs> so, okay. So this was my main motivation for buying the mannequin hanger is this dress. Now y'all see how it looks on the hanger. You can't really tell how the dress looks just hanging there. And so the mannequin is going to make... A huge difference like look at this tr this transformation from being on that wooden hanger to this mannequin y'all watch this and voila look it look at the difference wooden hanger mannequin now she looking a little lopsided. I'm about I'm about to fix that right now. Right, right now. It just needs to be retied in the back. The tie was off. So I got these mannequins to display a lot of the summer items that I have that I'm trying to get rid of and stuff. So it's still hot out here, y'all. It is hot. Like right now, I'm doing this voiceover. It's probably um going on 11 o'clock right now 11 p.m and it's still hot as heck right now like probably like 80 degrees i'm not certain but it's hot it is hot just as hot as it was in the daytime so yeah 
these items and stuff. So I have this dress. I have some um, swim swimwear. And I'm going to use the other mannequins to display the swimwear. So look at that. Look at the dress. It's so much better. Now you can see like the patterns, the style of the dress, everything. The mannequin has made the, a huge difference in the display of the, of the items. So I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to um, dress another mannequin. So I'm not, I don't quite remember what it was I was saying there, but um, yeah, I started going through the other clothes, trying to figure out what I was going to put on there. And I decided on an item that I have personally myself because this is a brand new um, outfit. I have new new clothing as well as used clothing. And I'm just showing you I have the same outfits. The, those items on that rack are my personal outfits. The ones on this rack is the Poshmark ones. Now, I said in my previous video that black one is mine, but it's a, I'm using it as a display item because the items are new and I don't want to take out a brand new outfit out of the package when I already have one out of the package which is my own and I get to dis display that and when somebody makes an order customer will receive a brand new outfit versus the display item so right here I believe I was okay so I found the bathing suit that I want to put on the mannequin I was, yeah, I was having a difficult time looking for it and stuff, so, yeah. I don't know why I had misplaced it, but this is also, like, I'm using it for a display, but it's also for sale. So, this is what it looks like. It has, like, yeah, the little buckles. <laughs> it's like a buckle or something. I'm not sure what exactly it's called, but... It's it's nice. It's little hardware on the swimsuit. So since the mannequin is hollowed out in the back, I had a little difficult time trying to put the <laughs> bikini bottoms on the mannequin and making it stay. Now y'all gonna see like look once I, I have that one side tied, but it keeps falling off. So I'm like, Jesus, I'm like, what, how am I going to get this to stay on here? Because when I got it, I got the mannequin from Amazon. And so I seen some mannequins that had um, swimsuits on them. And I'm like, okay, well, how did they get that um, mannequin, the swimwear to stay on that mannequin? And I have figured something out. So... You're gonna see here. Okay, I'm still fidgeting with it, but we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. Trust the process. I was getting rather irritated with the fact that it kept falling off, and I'm like, okay, just stay calm because if I continue to get upset and frustrated, I'm not gonna be able to figure this thing out so I'm like gosh I know I can I can do this I got this so I'm like do I need to make all, some alterations to the mannequin or whatever and I'm like I don't want to like have to make any slits or um, tack anything on it for it to hang or anything like that but so I'm just tying it I'm, I, I, just, I thought maybe if I make the ties a little tighter then that will make it stay on and know that it didn't help see y'all can see it falling it's slipping down I'm steady trying to pull it back up and I'm like god what in the heck so 
So I'm looking at the back. Okay, what can I do back here? I actually thought about taking the scissors and making some little um, slices on the sides of it and then kind of hooking the tie parts into the slits. But I'm like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to like, you know, do any modifications to the mannequin. I want to leave it intact, but yeah. See, and then it just fell completely down. I'm like, uh, oh my God. Still fooling with it. <laughs> I think at this point, like, the light bulb went off. And I'm like, okay, I got it. So y'all can see me tying it in the back. I think I'm tying it in the back right there. And so I'm like, okay, I'll just leave one on the side so you can see that it's the, the bottom part. You have to tie it. And so I just tied one in the back and then left the other two hanging. So I'm like, okay, there we go. So now it's on. So now I just need to put the top on, which is easy peasy. It's the bottoms that was giving me heartache. And so the top also has the same hardware on there as the bottom. So I'm just showing y'all that I'm tying it in the knot right there. And I'm putting it on the mannequin, tie in the back. Okay, now I'm just now realizing I am taking too long just to make this little tie and everything. Okay, so there. And again, I don't remember what I was saying, but look at look at how it's displayed on the mannequin versus just laying it out on a table or something. And so that you could see what it would look like, kind of imagine what it would look like on your body and look at the patterns and stuff. It's so cute. Then these are one of those, those bathing suits that you just sit by the pool and sip you a little drink and enjoy the fucking day. You know what I'm saying? That's one of them kind of swimsuits. And then the, here's the dress. So I'm just showing that, look at the huge difference these little hanging mannequins have done to these garments and displaying them on, on your store. So like, if you're a small business owner and you sell clothes, invest in this. This They were only like $19.99, I believe. Shipping was like $9.99. So you look at that. 30 bucks maybe um after taxes and everything for four hanging mannequins you know what i'm saying so and if you're just taking pictures to display that on your website it's perfect you need just you just need four you know and you could just use the you know to interchange and um display your items on your website and that's another item that i have on my poshmark It's a dress. That's a, a used item, though. I think at this point, I was just like, really, I was just kind of over it. That struggling with that bathing suit, like, yeah. That had my energy all off. And so this is the romper, the tussle um, romper that... Um, I made a video for her on TikTok 
This is one of my PR items. And I just love this romper. It's so comfortable and stretchy. And it's one of those outfits that you can wear out to the club or like an event, concert event, play, something like It's really cute, really classy. Y'all got to go over to my TikTok and watch the video that I made wearing this outfit. And they come in different colors. I'm thinking about getting a black one. This one's red. And it is really cute. I was really, really actually surprised about how well it fit. You know, it was very comfortable. So again, I'm showing y'all my rack with my own items. That's my little leopard. I have a video on TikTok wearing that outfit. And as y'all can see, I have a lot of leopard print stuff. That's I love that. That's a dress from H&M. That's actually a thrift find. And I was at the thrift store today and I found another H&M, same style, but different um, pattern. The dress is really pretty. It looks rich. It gives you rich. That's another dress. I love my leopard print stuff, y'all. I think I'm just looking for a hanger. Oh, that's my kid shirt. I just, that's a Walmart, <laughs> Walmart item. I actually wore that um, yesterday. That I'm going to make a dress out of. So that's what I'm talking about here. Uh, oversized shirts that I got that I'm going to do some alterations to and make dresses out of them. So y'all have to stay tuned for that. I've already got the little stuff to uh, do my little design that I'm going to put on there. My own little twist I'm going to put on there. That was a clearance item from Walmart. I got it for like $5. That one I got for $5 as well. I love my rock tees. I love my rock tees. I tell you, I love my rock tees. I have a ton of rock tees. So that's another one that I'm going to make out of a dress. And I'm going to do some little, you know, I'm going to put my little one, two on it. And y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. So I'm trying to show y'all how long the shirt is because I did get it in a 2X. Now, my intentions when I first got it, I was just going to, you know, looking for regular size they didn't have the size that I wanted which was a large because you know these Walmart t-shirts that's another one I got I paid a dollar for that believe it or not so I'm gonna assume that that was like last year's Halloween and that's the excesses so that's another one I'm gonna make out of you know Halloween is right around the corner y'all so you know I'm trying to get my Halloween stuff together that's my little jacket, my little ACD, ACDC jacket. So, yeah, y'all. Stay tuned for the alterations I'm going to do to those t-shirts. And y'all yeah, get some ideas of what to do with these little cheap t-shirts.
Hey, y'all. So, I'm back. I did my self-care stuff today, which is my nails. That's my nails. I had them to cut it down, cut them down. It was too long. And I was starting not to be able to uh, do certain stuff. As you, and part of the video, I was working on the mannequins and stuff like that. And, yeah, it was just, I was just having a difficult time with that. And so I got my feet done. And, oh, my God, $116 for, for a feel? It's not like I got a full set. A feel... And to have my to oh my toes done for real, a hundred. I, I see why the press on nails is popping now because you know, I'm I'm about to do it myself because this is ridiculous. Like a hundred and sixteen dollars for nails and toes. Like who? This stuff the the supplies and stuff are cheap. It is super cheap overseas. You know they get that stuff overseas. <laughs> And come over here. I get you paying for the service. and I get it. I totally get it. But damn, like back in the day, it didn't cost you that much to get your your, your nails and your feet done. Like this is ridiculous. But anyway, so, man, I was so tired this morning when I came home from work. I didn't want to get up, but I needed to get up and I needed to take those boots, drop those boots off at the UPS store, pay on my P.O. box, uh, do go to the nail shop, of course, and I just was not feeling, I literally had to force myself out of bed to go get this stuff done, but it's done. So, right now I'm just sitting here, just chilling. I gotta go to work tonight. I'm probably going to leave out of here in about maybe 45 minutes. So I got to go change. I got my clothes right there, though. But anyway, so I'm just sitting here watching um, Interview with the Vampire, the movie, the 1984 one. I remember when this first came out, I went to go see it in um, Lakewood. So... I just thought it was like the best movie I'd ever seen back then. But anyway, so I got some the new pictures uploaded to my Poshmark store. And excuse me if my voice is. So, yeah, so my allergies is like tearing me up. Like I feel a little congested and stuff and I'm sneezing, a little bit of runny nose, like I've been taking Benadryl. Benadryl's not doing nothing. I took a Claritin D today, so this helped a little bit, but I still feel like, ugh, like this terrible. That hotel we were staying in, man, like I'm like seriously allergic to cats. So it was, a, I guess, a pet friendly um, little place because people have their damn dogs up in there and shit, like little miniature ponies, some of them. But, yeah, I think whoever stayed in that room had a cat. And, man, ever since then, like, I, my allergies was already a little inflamed anyway. But when I stayed there at that, that hotel, man, it messed me up. It jacked me up for real. So they must have had a cat. They had to have a cat, like. Or it was extremely dusty in there, and I just didn't see the dust. Whatever. So now I'm all jacked up now. So hopefully I'll feel better soon, or whatever. And um, yeah. I'm sorry. Anyway. So yeah, I just got, I I got some or PR. I got one more item to do, and it's a waist trainer. So I gotta get that done. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Because today, I'm just not feeling it today. I did as much as I, I could. And I posted up like two videos for um for some stuff that I got. So they were sweaters and stuff. And like winter is literally around the corner. So I want to have my sweaters. They were so cute. 
And, you know, right now, TikTok has, like, been having, like, these deals and summer deals and stuff like that. So, I'm like, oh, okay. So, some stuff is PR and then, like, sometimes I buy stuff. But I really don't even have to, like, because most of the stuff I just, I get for for promotion. So, yeah. But, um, oh. I totally flipped y'all around. You didn't even know that it could do that, but okay. So now I know. Anyway, so yeah. Um, today is Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday. I got a few more days. Let me see about three more days of work. And then I'm off. And then I got to plan out uh, what other stuff I need to get done. 